Hello, and welcome back to Deathbed Sun, everybody. I'm Chocolate Milk. And Alien Probes, Base 626. So last video, we defeated Karst and Agatio, who were somehow possessed by the lighthouse. Um, or, or something. Or, or something. They turned into giant flame dragons. We pretty much have killed them. And they're now going to give us the Mars Star. You who hold the star, open your heart and listen. If you wish to reach the heavens, give your star to me! Nay! Now this seems like a big elaborate trap, uh, but you actually want to do this. You can see all the pipes um, right by the dragon, which should give you a little bit of a hint of what's going to happen. So if we put the Mars star in this dragon's mouth, this whole place is going to turn into an actual decent looking Mars lighthouse with all the fire and stuff. <laughs> All right, so see ya, I guess. <laughs> Have fun. We're just gonna leave you behind. You just die there. There, there's nothing you can do. So you just kind of leave them there and hope for the best or the worst, depending on how you feel about them. Eh, they're neutral. They're, they're kind of, they're not as big of jerks as uh, Sato and Minardi were. So I guess that's fine. Also, apparently there's still ice in here for some reason. Yeah, um, so all the torches have been lit and uh, things like that, but we still need to take care of a lot of the uh, big chunks of ice within the actual dungeon itself, which is going to be no problem because we have the power of the mighty dragon flame heads or whatever. So... Ah. No, let me go, especially when Sheba only has 9 HP. I was ser seriously expecting them to just straight go for her and kill her. <laughs> they were like, ooh, a weak little tiny girl with 9 HP, let's get her! Dead, dead! That's what I would have done too, but... I guess they were trying to be nice, they were like, hey, I'll let you go for today. You can break this which will allow you to get access to the door that's behind that dragon, which I think is the only reason to really go in here. I don't think that dragon actually does anything because everything is now melted. I was gonna say it didn't look like there's any point to using it. No. No, there's not. So you gotta take the right path because the middle one is a dead end. And we reveal Mars Genie. Now this one, this one, like, I'm like, hello, genie? Yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> Silly thing. Took longer than necessary. Yeah, for some reason, just going up to his face and talking to him, he's like, nope. Talk to the hand, and then you talk to his backside, and he's like, oh, how dare you sneak up on me, good sir. So this is going to be one of our, our missing genie that we need to get. And then we'll, we're only missing a couple more. We near the end. Probably give this one to Jenna and make her super kick ass. She will become OP. Just like her brother. She's level 39. I always get it mixed up. I'm always like, hmm, aren't Jenna and Isaac, brother and sister, and then I'm like, no, the wait, that would be extremely weird. <laughs> Especially if you've played the third game, you'll know what I'm talking about. Oh, and I should also set all of these so she gets her healing spells back, since we don't need to have them all set. And Fugue, or Fugie, it's drops, fugue. drops your foe's PP down, which is pretty sweet. Okay, so that's that. Now, where am I going? I think we're going to a new area of the lighthouse that we haven't actually been to before because there was no point in going there previously. This little center door that's going to bring us up to a different part of the lighthouse. <sighs> More doodle bugs, go away! <laughs> The dumbest enemy ever. You are you are silly. How would bugs survive in not only an extremely cold and harsh environment, but then also an extremely hot and 
harsh environment. I don't know. I don't get it. Anyways, you who hold the star, open your heart and listen. If you wish to scale the heavens, set the four spirits aflame. So now we have to go and basically do a replication of lighting all the beacons of the lighthouses. And you can do this in whatever order you want. Let's do this one first. If you come here earlier, he'll basically be like, Oh, you don't have the Mars Star? Get out of here. L leave me be. Go. Get. Yeah. Gone. Scat. Yeah. Skedaddle. So there's no point in coming here. And that really hurt. Ow. Heavy thigh. Ah, I hate those. Hate enemies like that. They're like, oh, I, I see you have a lot of HP and you're perfectly in good health. Let me fix that for ya. One of these things is too much like the other. This is also really a weird looking scene. It, it's like glacial rain with like a lava lighthouse and some sort of like LSD trip background simulation world. It's because none of the party members have slept this entire adventure, so now they're just like, oh. <laughs> they're just like walking around like zombies at this point, yeah. We haven't been into an inn in a while, that is true. Okay, so this one, I think, is like that. There's gonna be a couple different ways to go. <sighs> in this crap, okay. Pipe puzzle. For some reason, I'm reminded of a game, but I can't think of what game. I don't know. This game really loves to do these types of puzzles, though. Um, the enemies shouldn't bother us, though, because this is a puzzle room. So, that's nice. Slight success. I think this... Let's push this one first. And then this one so it doesn't melt the ice block. Oh wait, it already melted melted the other ice block. Yeah, if the flame is too near where the ice is, it'll actually melt it, so I have to try that again. I do know that you freeze this one first. And then we want to push this one up. So that it gets it away from there. Freeze this one. Perhaps reverse order. Yeah, and then I think we want to do this and that, and then do the flame last. That should work. Aha! There we go. Okay. So now we need to go back down. And now we need to get to that area over there so we can uh, use the flame dragon's powers. So let's see if I can't figure this one out. Uh, like that. Success. And all you need to do is use blaze. Which will then destroy all of the ice. Haha. -ha. I love how this game got all crazy explosion all of a sudden. Love You the can never go wrong with explosions. Right. Okay, so we need to go this way. There we go. And these are really neat because each of these rooms just has like a little puzzle. They're not really all that difficult to do. And then once you get to the top, you'll then need to use Blaze. And there we go. I guess this is Mercury. Probably. With all the the blue flame and such. Though I have to say it's a little strange that the fire lighthouse is so special compared to the other ones. Because, like, none of the other lighthouses had any relation to previous lighthouses, really. No. But the fire one apparently has everything to do with everything. I think this one is supposed to be, like, the oldest and most ancient of the lighthouses, and so it has some sort of special meaning, and plus it's kind of, like, at the end of the Earth, 
Or, you know, it could just be like the game, you know, ha, let's draw this game out even longer and make you do more puzzle stuff, which is probably a better explanation. That probably makes more sense. I think those chameleon things are new too, those freaky chameleon looking things. But we're not gonna fight them. None of them. We will have none of them. And then once you light the beacon, uh, the little flame will come out here and then you'll also see it's been done so you know not to go back to that room. So we'll do one more, and then we'll probably have to save the other two for next time. Yeah, these devil frogs that definitely look like chameleons are new as well. I don't think they're particularly strong from what I remember. Yeah, those don't look like frogs at all. It's the eyes that are freaky and don't look like frogs. <laughs> Plus, I hate, -like. I hate frogs. I hate them. Oh, they're weird. They're so creepy. I don't normally much mind like lizards and stuff, but something about chameleons weird. and frogs is just weird. Okay, so in this room we need to use cyclone, so I'm just gonna set it to a button because we're gonna be using it an awful lot. And this one's just a matter of knowing which cyclone to use. Since of course they give you a bunch of options. Of course. So we want to use the left one twice. This reminds me of uh, the pipe maze from Majora's Mask at the very, like, on the moon. Oh, jeez, yeah. When you have to, like, swim through the different pipes of the Zora. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know why that reminds me of that, but it does. Oh, that game has so many tr tricky uh, puzzles and mini games and stuff. Oh yeah, I, definitely. Uh, I just really applaud any person who has absolutely no difficulty with any of the mini games in that game. Or when you're on the moon and you have to, I think it's on the moon, maybe it's not, where you have to give all the masks to the kids and uh, you have to do that. You have to go as the Goron and be super oh, speedy. And, that uh, Goron rolling yeah, race place. Yeah, that is annoying as hell. Those are like, the Goron rolling puzzles are like my, the worst, the, the thing I'm worst at in that game. In the uh, second temple too, all that ice stuff that you had to roll over. Or the Goron racetrack is pretty hard too. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay, made it back. So basically you just want to move that statue, and then you want to take the teleporter to the right instead of the one that you took on the second left to get to this room. This is a really weird room because it's got like fire and it has hover for whatever reason I guess just because they needed an, an excuse to use hover somewhere in the dungeon. <laughs> and we also have a teleporting area. I do believe. Oh no, Cyclone. Of course. So let's go. The only way that we can go. This is so tedious. Just watching the animation over and over again is just really tedious. Ah! Go faster! So once this one travels upwards, you can then move this one in place, which will allow you to use hover. And then for a shortcut, you can just go ahead and get yourself burnt, knock you down, and then you can go back around. Which is kind of a pain, literally, but... <laughs> It's like, okay, Felix, you just just take it take it for the team. It's like, oh god, no, please, but guys, it hurts no! So ah, bad. The pain. In this point in the game, it's just like, whenever you need a shortcut, it's like you either have to fall down or you have to take damage. Which is a bit of a nuisance, but whatever. Down poor you go. Poor Felix. Oh, poor Felix takes so much torture. He's just oh god, I hate this part. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, he's gonna have to take like a life vacation once this is all over. He's gonna get old and he's just gonna be the most crippled old person ever. He's the most battered old person in existence, yeah. If you land in this area coming out of the hover and you don't realize there's a gigantic flame dragon there, then normally it knocks you down and you have to go all the way back up, which is a pain in the arse. So, screw that. Me. 
mean game designers. And this is the Jupiter Lighthouse. Right? Jupiter? For sure. Purple okay. Flame. Well, I always get Jupiter and, and Venus oh, mixed up all yes. the time. And then you're always <laughs> like, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and correct that for you. I'm like, thank you. So you get knocked down, you gotta, yeah, you gotta start all the way back here. But luckily for us, we needed that shortcut, so... Ha! Ah. <laughs> Not only did we fall down a huge pit, but we also got hit by a giant fireball. And we're still alive! The longevity of RPG characters. <laughs> Felix just looks like a blackened husk right now. <laughs> They're just like Energizer batteries, they just keep going and going. Somehow he can still perform in battle, despite his limbs starting to shrivel up and he can't walk straight anymore. Oh, poor Felix. Poor everybody, but especially Felix. He takes he takes the most battered abuse of all. Alright, so there we go. That's the left-hand side done. So we still have two more sides to go, and then we should be able to be well on our way to finishing up this damned lighthouse. So that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.